Hi and welcome back to Ask NK. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about just very few uh, things I believe everyone that, or anyone that's using Twinmotion should know. And these are more like tips. I know I made previous videos about tips, but uh, these are tips that has been requested from one of the viewers, which I'm going to share here. I'm going to go ahead and add a couple of threes in our scene. So if I hold down shift click and drag I can make multiple copies of these trees so for now I'm going to go ahead and make three of them so we have three trees here I'm going to hold control to select this to make to add the other one into our selection so let's position this properly and also I'll hold down shift and make another copy towards the side so one of the questions that was asked earlier is uh, how is it possible to replace these trees just in case you're done and you, you don't want these same trees and maybe you, you want to replace them with stones or something so what we're going to do now is i'm going to go over to the models i want to add then i'll have to come back to the scene hold down control and select whatever object I want to replace. So for example, let's go ahead and select about four of these trees. So I'm going to select them randomly. Hold down shift middle mouse, rotate around and let's select this one as well. Now within the inspector or the hierarchy bar here, I can right click and move over to where we have replace objects. Now if I click replace object, I'm going to go ahead and drag down the object I want to use to replace this object here. So I'm going to also select this one and maybe this other one as well. Now once I'm done, I'm going to press the start replace so that I can easily replace them. If transform is on, it means it's going to transform to whatever thing which we have here. So let's say for example, if I went ahead to scale the trees down or maybe I rotated the trees, with transform on, all of these are going to go ahead to inherit the transform which the previous objects in the scene had. So let's press start and automatically we have all of this replaced. We can now simply go ahead, select them, scale them to what we want. And that's how you replace objects in your scene. One other thing to look at is, you know, during the creation of these trees, we went ahead, we selected one of them, and we made multiple instances of them. Now, if I go ahead and increase the scale, they all scale together. But in some circumstances, you may want to go, but in some circumstances, you may want to have the same number of trees but randomly placed in your scene so how we can do this let's say we want to do this manually is we can either go ahead is we can either go ahead and randomly place them by hand let's say once we want to place instead of using instance we make copies we can inst we can do that uh, manually or we can just go ahead and make instances so for example I'm going to come through and make an instance of three and now within this time if you notice the same thing occurs like when I turn down the scale they all turn down it's this happens because all of them are linked up together so how we can unlink them is if I select one of these object and I want to just change the scale of just this particular tree for example so I can select this come over here right click and say break instance so once I break the instance, what happens is I can now increase this tree independently of every other tree around it. The same thing happens with materials and, and other objects alike. So uh, these are the ones that are not yet, that have not broken their instances as well. If I increase them or if I increase the size and reduce the size, you see they also are all linked up together and the good way to know components that are linked or components that bear instances of other objects or maybe within an instance is when you look here 
you're going to find a certain color that is mapped to them so now I have this green color marked to the black gum here here and here it means all of this black gum are all linked up so if I turn the season to summer they all adopt the season to say summer if I come over here and turn the season to autumn they all adopt the season and the same thing happens if I make all of them winter so how to break all of them or how to break the chain of one of them which you've seen before is just clicking on one right click and break the instance so right now I can just go ahead select this one and change this to summer so this exists in summer meanwhile why will see have all of this linked up like here this this and this if I come here and change this to atom you see they all change to that So these are the basic tips and requests I've gotten from the Twin Motion series so far. If you love this video, please give it a thumbs up and share this with your friend. And if you've not subscribed, please subscribe to this channel and don't forget to turn on notifications so that you get updates the next time we upload a new video. Peace.